it's so early there's still a lot of fog in the distance. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. The air in the morning is just so like crisp and nice. I feel like I can like, actually just breathe. So I literally fell asleep again and I feel like I've been falling asleep so much which is really bad um, but I don't know what it is about today I, I just keep falling asleep so I'm trying to like not be in my bed right now I'm gonna go outside and watch the sunset or something it's okay sometimes we have off days but I'm gonna go and try to watch the sunset so that I don't go back to bed It's always way better in person, but still, I mean, the sunset from up here is like phenomenal. I'm gonna paint this one day for sure. Aren't these just the sweetest little stamps ever? My bedroom in its current state. This is usually what my room will look like when I'm having a lazy day. Bed still looks very inviting, but messy. I'll have a book, my iPad, all my controllers for my fan and my TV. Um, a shirt in there, I don't know, airpods over here for some reason, that's fine, um, but yeah, I love this little window in my room, I feel like it really just like makes me happy, um, but yeah, I am on a mission, maybe this weekend to find a little friend for this guy right here. I did have one, but he died. It was just like a stem that my mom got from her garden and put in a jar. And she told me to put it by my window and it grew for a while, but then it died because it was just a stem. It didn't really have much support. Also, here's a little teacup I got in the last video. Um, I ended up putting all my rings in it and it's so cute. My lovely little accessories corner, nothing too crazy. And then I have like this cute little angel thing I got in Seattle last year in, in my dried orchid plant, rest in peace. But she still is kind of beautiful in her um, death state. But yes, um, the sun has gone down, I'm up. I'm gonna stamp all my orders and bring them to the mailbox tomorrow morning. I don't like walking up there at night unless I get my dad to come with me, but um, we, we will see. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I need to measure this one package to make sure that I did the right dimensions for it because this one needs a shipping label and not just the stamps. Oh, and if you heard that, that is my poor fucking knees, the poor things, bro. I thought they were 8x5, but they're 9x5, so I'm gonna double check before buying a whole last thing. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing for the rest of the night. Um, and maybe some video games, perhaps? I don't know.
kind of just went to a quiet area, but this is what I got. I got this CD. It's titled, um, what is it titled? Bills by Lisa Joel and the Nine. I don't know. I just liked how it looked. So I'm gonna try it. Um, this one is Boards of Canada. Classic, honestly, and look how cool it is inside. And then Fiona Apple. This is titled Title. And then I got Santana so that me and my boyfriend could listen to this one. I've been wanting to just, I've been recently just like checking CDs out just to listen to them in my car. And then I checked out Writers and Lovers by Lily King, which I saw that Monica recommended in her video and I wanted to read it, so. I've been wanting to read this for a while, so I'm picking it up today. It is almost 6 p.m. Um, and I napped. So I just finished filming my question and answer video. And now I am just waiting for my boyfriend to get here because he's coming over. But um, there are so many questions, so I'm gonna do a part two. So hopefully that comes out soon. I, uh, I don't know when it'll come out, but so many questions and I'm so thankful that so many people are curious or have something to ask. So yeah, um, if you haven't checked out my question and answer video, check it out. But I'm filming this right after I filmed it. Good grape. Red or green? Red <laughs> or green grapes. Dude, high key looks fucking one to one. That's what I told him. That's what I said. You said it? It looks really good. I like the little sound. So I started this drawing and I'm really liking it so far. So we will see how it goes, but um, this is the same design I did for that little clay thing I made. I think this is gonna be really cute. This is my next piece and I am working on it. And I intend to work on it a lot today and tomorrow and hopefully I can finish it. But I'll show you guys what else I've been working on. So these are the two little books I use a lot. This is kind of like, um, just like a journal slash, not really a journal because I don't write my journal entries in it, but I use it to write notes and stuff about what I need to do. Um, but right now I'm kind of planning out a shop update and I'll show you guys my notes. So I just woke up. <laughs> Um, so right now, I am planning a little bit of ideas of what I want to make for the shop update. A of what I want to do and then a combination of what people have asked me <laughs> um, potentially to make. So I'm thinking for my next site update, I might do a sticker sheet of my new um drawings that i've been working on and i'll show you guys a little bit of that because i've been wanting to do a little update on my mystery characters except this time i don't think i'm going to make them mystery it's more fun for you guys if you guys want like a certain character but this time i don't think i'm going to do as many i think i'm just going to do like two or like two or three of my characters and make them 
into like a cute little style uh, or like a more of like a new version like an updated version of them and then I wanted to do a couple pieces of clothing so I don't know if I'm gonna do like one of one pieces or do like just a shirt design and a sweater design but I might do all of that so I might do like one sweater design and one shirt design and then do a couple one of one clothings where I kind of like go crazy and like do something creative and fun um, so there's options, but that's my ideas for my next story post. And also look at the the stickers on my work, my work journal. This one's my friend's art. Her Instagram's 3nimsy if you want to check her out. This is my own like trial sticker when I made my orchid stickers. And then this is just like a cutie sticker on the back. I have a cute mouse, but... If you want to check out my website right now, I have all my orchid stickers up. I need to retake the pictures for my orchid stickers today because the ones on my website I feel like don't really do justice to like real life. So I'm going to take pictures of that and I'll show you later. I'm going to put them all in my sketchbook, I think. I'm just going to put them all on like one page and then take a picture of the page so that you guys know what you're getting. But all those stickers are based off of... The little orchid drawings I did and all of these correlate with my other drawings of my like fantasy series or not even fantasy series but just like the work I've been doing right now like where my style's going and like where my creativity's been going so yeah all those stickers are based off of these drawings these are the original drawings and then um I also have little prints of these too. Lots of fun stuff for the site coming soon. I feel like I have to kind of like let go of it being like this thing where I only have like a limited range of stuff because I want to give you guys more of like a variety. Right now I just have prints and a couple keychains for sale and stuff. So um, I think clothing would be fun because I'm the type of person where I if I really like an artist and I kind of like want to wear something too that I like from them and I feel like I could make some pretty cool clothing because I make some of my own shirts and I always get compliments on my own shirts and I only make like one of ones for me to wear because I'm like I, this should be a cool design so I might put out a couple I don't know when the shop update will be because I asked my mutual I don't know if you guys have watched her videos her name's Seth and I asked her like where she gets her sticker her sticker sheets done because I wanted to order some sticker sheets of like my next sticker drop because I feel like sheets would be more practical because I usually hand make all my stickers and cut them out individually but I was thinking like I want to make sticker sheets and I can't figure out how to do it with my Cricut and every time I try it doesn't cut correctly it like off cuts so like it wastes the sticker paper and it wastes like my time basically i can't figure out how to do it we'll see maybe i'll do like a sticker sheet thing um i asked her where she gets hers done and because i like the quality of her stuff and she has super cute stuff you should check her youtube out if you haven't already um but i asked her for some advice on where to order from that so i know the quality will definitely be good anyway I've been working on some new designs for my characters. If you guys don't know, I did this Honey Bear Companions, my little companions, um, characters and designs. I'll insert a picture here, and I have mystery keychains of them, and they come in five different characters. And my original plan for them was that these would be the not these but they would be the original characters and then i could just do like different versions of them here and there so that's what i plan to do because i really like the characters i spent like months on them and designing them and naming them and they all have little attributes and different things about them um so they're quite special and fun for me it's like the first time i ever really did characters like this this one is bear and it's ironic because bear is a bunny uh this one is cloud this one is joby star and then the little fox is aya it's aya 
Um, yeah, but that's the original ones, and I've been working on some little spin-offs of my characters, just, like, different designs and different ideas. But right now, I'm thinking for the sticker sheet, like, maybe, um, one with, like, this insignia I've been drawing a lot. I'm thinking of even adding this to the sticker sheet, like, this one, this version of Bear, this version of Star. I don't know if I'm gonna put like the headphones on star yet but we'll see but they're both holding the insignia which i am kind of like really attracted to at the moment and i'm kind of just trying to create things that i feel like i want to see from my art and my shop and kind of trying to like branch out and be more creative at the moment so i'm kind of trying not to stay super stuck in like my original character set and like the way that they look so but i'm keeping like they're all like the same characters and the same names and everything um, and they're gonna have like similar colors so that you know it's them, but just experimenting and you know just being creative with it. I think this sticker as well. I really want to make this into a shirt design, so we'll see what happens. And then I'm thinking of maybe having Cloud or Joby be have like um, a sword. I definitely want one of the characters to have a sword. So I'm thinking like redoing, not redoing, but reinventing three of them with different outfits and stuff but yeah this one I think I might turn into a t-shirt design and I'm also thinking of turning this one into a design like whether it be like a t-shirt design or using it to do one of one clothing and like doing like an interesting design or making it into like pouches or like a tote bag or something I think that would be really cute um but yeah those are my ideas at the moment what I've kind of been working on in addition to this one which i'm super excited about because you guys know these have been like my favorite things to work on lately and i've done all these as well and if you watch me you already know all this so i don't know why i'm babbling about it but these are all prints on my shop as well if you like to check them out uh, i spent so much time on them and these i genuinely am like i love and i'm so proud of them and it's like, my recent work Anyway, while I'm waiting for these files to upload for my question, like basically my question and answer video, um, I'm gonna show you guys my painting. Currently the status hasn't changed much. Oh, hello guys, from the last vlog. So I really plan to work on it this week. I'm really trying to make it like a goal that I really work on this area because I have lots of ideas for working on this area. And then, um, see where my mind goes but I'm not rushing this painting I never rush my paintings because I just like know when I rush it it doesn't turn out with its like greatest potential so um yeah this one you guys already know this baby has been in my room for like a minute and I know that when she's done she'll be amazing but right now we are in like the what are you, intermission phase my hair is Crazy. I always say that. I feel like I always say my hair looks crazy in the morning, but it really does. Um, so I think I'm going to walk to the mailbox right now and drop off some orders. Just two. Um, these orders came in over the weekend. And also, thank you so much, everyone who orders my prints or loves my art and wants a little piece of it for themselves to so like embellish their life, decorate their room or whatever, your sketchbook, whatnot. Um, but yeah, what I work so hard on every week and what I work hard on to get out to you guys every week. So thank you so much for your orders. Like I'm more than thankful that even I get like one order a week or even like one order every two weeks. Like lately a lot more orders have been coming in, which I'm so thankful for, but like whether it's a lot or a little, like I'm so thankful. So thank you guys so much. So I was just walking to the post, not the post office, <laughs> my mailbox, and I was looking at this tree. I just thought, wow, like, I really like this little branch. Like, I want to draw it or sketch it. 
The crows are quite loud this morning. They are crowing. So I've been working on this new drawing slash art piece. Um, this is how it's going so far. I'm just doing this and I'm watching some of Sephra's videos. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's just what I'm doing with my morning. And I think in a bit, I'm going to take a break because I don't know. I learned that either I can go for like three or four hours and finish it but other times I get burnt out but if I get burnt out I can't force myself to keep doing it because then I overdo it and make it look crazy and then I hate it so that's the deal with my my work these days so as you can tell from this mess I got a little bit distracted and I started this new drawing and I wanted to include my new little characters, not my new characters, but looks different because he doesn't have a star in his eye. Um, so that's why I was like, oh, kind of like new renditions, but it's star and bear. And I'm gonna put bear right here, the little bunny, and they're both gonna hold like this insignia. And I don't know, I just really was like inspired to make this and then I might make just like a light to background for it. We'll see where it goes, but got a little bit distracted from this one this is how far i got on here i'm gonna get back to that in like a couple hours or something but i just had a spark of inspiration and i was like i need to draw right now um but yeah i'm just gonna get my ideas down and then work on it for the rest of the day this is my sketch so far and i really love it i'm gonna utilize like this beautiful flower and some of the leaves to kind of practice um dimension and shading when it comes to foliage and i feel like it's just gonna add like a different layer to my work that there usually isn't because i feel like i do have like these wide landscapes um which have depth but i wanted to practice like more of like a zoomed in version like these are like my version of little fairies in a little forest or like a little garden or something so that'll be fun um yeah, I'm trying not to film too much this week because I think I'm going to divide this vlog and next week's vlog together. So I'm going to kind of take a couple days off to just be with myself and not worry about filming every single creative thing I do. But I wanted to keep you guys updated on these drawings because I think the next time I talk to you guys, they might be finished. At least this one will, um, but this one might be like halfway. We'll see. Hey everyone, it's the next morning. I said I wouldn't film for a couple days, but I wanted to show you guys this drawing. And I'm pretty much finished with it. I'm gonna scan it right now, but I just wanted to check in with y'all and show you guys. I ended up just finishing it yesterday, like um, the same day I filmed the previous clips. And I finished it pretty fast. Um, and yeah, this one is done. And I love it. I don't know if I'm going to sell this one or not. I'll update you guys um, when I get back to you guys in a couple days. And I started this one. So we will see. Uh, this is has my new updated characters. Star and, and Bear in it. And I added a pretty little flower. Um, we'll see where this goes. I'm going to work on this one today. Um, yeah, this one's done. So this is my little salad for lunch slash dinner because I don't think I'm going to eat after this because I've been having really bad stomach aches and it's just like making me avoid all that. Anyway, um, so I'm having leftover hamburger meat. Basically, it's just like ground beef with no like nothing else on it. Carrots, bell pepper, spinach, and lettuce. And I'm excited and a little tiny bit of sugar-free greek uh greek dressing um packaging in order this is what she's gonna get this is in order let me see who it's for an order for amber thank you so much for ordering she ordered a mystery baggie and i decorate or 
I decorated it with these cute stickers. I don't even know what's in here. I made all of these, like, pre. So, it's, uh, I hope she likes it. I don't know what's in it. Um, but each mystery bag comes with at least two items and a sticker. So, for, and all those items are handmade. This is just a way for me to, to get a lot of my more other creative outlets out to you guys, like jewelry and keychains, like handmade stuff that I don't post on my website. And then I'm also going to give her two of my orchid stickers as just an extra. And I also have this little 3D butterfly sticker I'm going to give to her as an extra. And then my handwritten note for her on my cute little paper that I love using for these. And I'm almost out, sadly. Oh, I am out. Wow. She got the last graham cracker. I'm going to have to go shopping for a new, uh, new stationery soon. But yeah. Um, this is Amber's order. Thank you so much for ordering, Amber. I hope this gets to you soon. I wanted to show you guys what I'm working on before I head out, because I have a hair appointment, which I'll show you guys after <laughs> this when it happens. But right now I'm working on some new pieces, or like mini pieces that... Um, these aren't colored yet, but I'm in the middle of drawing this one, but I have to go, so I'm going to show you guys. But I had, like, all my plans and stuff, like I showed you before. But these are just the newer renditions of characters I already had. Um, but I'm just redoing two of them for now, because I just feel like they matched my other new ideas better. And this is the, the red cross key, or whatever, the cross key that I've been at putting in some of my drawings and like been really obsessed with and I made this out of clay as well and that's how I came up with the idea. And then I'm working on this drawing and I want to make this heart piece also part of the new designs for the new, I don't know, the new work I've been doing and I really want to add this to the sticker sheet. So my big plan is coming up with a sticker sheet and they are all going to be on it, um, including probably this cute one too and then for the f other stickers I'm not sure yet this is all I have right now but I'm taking my time and letting myself be creative to come up with you know like the best ideas and express myself the best way I can so yeah these are my ideas so far we're still like the beginning stages but we're getting there and yeah I don't know when these will all be finished but you guys will definitely know because I will probably post about it or something on my Instagram or whatnot. Um, but yeah, currently what I'm working on. Bought the white cloths that are like the eight percent. So funny. So right now I'm gonna wash my face because my skin is so bad. <laughs> I keep pushing my hair away from my forehead because I don't want to touch, but. Whoa, look at the sky. The sins too. They look like little dots though. It's hard to get them. Wow. That's Gorgiana. So this is my hair. I think I like my makeup a lot better than I did yesterday. Um, but I had to go downstairs to get some order stuff. I will talk to you guys upstairs because I have a little story to tell y'all about this morning because I literally had a breakdown. So I'm gonna eat breakfast now. Sorry if this vlog isn't really that entertaining. I guess the only entertaining part is that I dyed my hair, but that's also not really that fancy. Um, anyway, I was gonna crochet and tell you guys this, but I'm gonna make breakfast instead and tell you, but I had such an identity crisis for a second when I dyed my hair because I'm so used to having black hair and my natural hair is black. So my whole life, I've just been used to seeing my face framed by like a darker color. And so 
I really wanted to do it for a change and I also was like, can I let go of this identity? Feeling the way like they blow dried my hair because it's really like perfect and it's making me have like a coconut head. But besides the fact, cause I know when I wash it, it's gonna be a lot different. But besides that, I don't mind it. The color grew on me, but yesterday I literally was like, what did I do? Um, but I kept it strong and I also was wearing dark, dark makeup because usually I do a little bit of a darker eye and other makeup like that because my hair is black. But I went to the appointment with like dark makeup and then I came out with my dark makeup but lighter hair. So it just like, it just looked like a tiny bit mismatched, but now I think it looks fine. Actually, I'm like, I'm kind of feeling myself. It's kind of giving like manga real. <laughs> I don't know, I guess that anxiety like carried on throughout the night because I slept literally like three hours last night and I still haven't slept and I can't go back to bed, but I slept like three hours. I woke up for the sunset and I, I put clips in of that earlier, I, I believe. And um, also I need a picture for this. Maybe I can make one, but I kind of like it when it like hangs open. Anyway, getting sidetracked. Um, I literally didn't sleep that much and then I, kind of fell asleep for like 30 minutes around 6 a.m. and then I had basically a terrible anxiety dream and it was kind of like just bad vibes and then I woke up at like 6 30 and I wanted to like cry and then I kind of just had like a weird morning the rest of the morning and I was just like what did I do to my hair and I was like honestly it's not even that big of a deal like it looks fine but I think I just like I'm so attached to how like naturally looks. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I have been born with black hair. I should have black hair, but it, honestly, this is such a like a useless problem. And it's so selfish to be like even complaining about this because I did this to myself, by the way. Um, and like, I woke up and I was so anxious and I literally like, spam texted my hairdresser and I was like, oh my God, like, what am I gonna do? And like, it bothers me so much. Like in my head, this shit was like ginger and like orange, but it's really not, it's like light brown. Now we're here. I mean, I like it, what do you, I don't know. I think I just like got anxious and I feel like I just had like such an attachment to the way I used, like I look because in my head, like that was my identity. And then I think I had like an anxious like panic attack this morning because I didn't feel like myself. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, like what the fuck did I just wake up to? But I feel a lot better now. I did like my makeup that suited the hair a lot more than my makeup yesterday when I got it done. And my skin was not crop, like it's still not cooperating. Like I'm struggling with some texture and some acne. It's not making me like feel that great either. So, um, let me continue making breakfast while I talk to you guys about it. I'm making sourdough toast with peanut butter because I'm not that hungry, but I really want protein so that I don't feel lightheaded. I have like a weird um, diet to be honest. So I kind of just try to do like high protein and lots of fruits and veggies. Yeah. Let me get y'all situated. Also, this is the peanut butter I use and my family. My family is like strictly no sugar. So I'm also like very like no sugar type of person. And I hate when there's sugar and like my coffee, like it gives me such a weird aftertaste. The only sugar I really eat is from fruits. Cause it's like natural sugar. Or if I get a pastry or something once in a while with my boyfriend or something and we go to like his work or we get like a sweet treat somewhere, but other than that, it's never, like, rarely, like, ever. Um, anyway, besides the point, what I was talking about, but, like, I made such a big deal out of it for no reason and got so anxious and, like, overthought it, and I was like, oh my god, like, it probably doesn't look that good, and people are lying to me and saying it looks good, um, which is kind of delusional now that I think about it, because now that I'm not um, now that I'm not feeling oh my god bitch now that I'm not feeling like super dysmorphic about it I feel fine but at first I literally was like bitch like what the hell um but yeah but I kind of realized like what's the point in even worrying that much about hair like I wanted this so 
It was so good. Mm. Anyway. Oh my god, I need my coffee because that was so cool. Anywho. I was delusional about it. And blah, blah, blah. But I talked to my friends and they all reassured me. And I was like, please don't lie to me because I will change it if I look like a fool. But I don't know. I guess I have a, a bit of like a delusion about how I look, but it's not real. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else struggles with that, but I'm sure I look fine. Um... But yeah, so much anxiety and all that for no fucking reason. And then I kind of just like, I really can't wait for fall to come and like the weather to be better. It's just a heat wave right now and I'm just like literally dreaming of fall like right now. And I feel like with my new hair color, it's like so autumn-y, fall, like warm chocolate vibes. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get excited and like figure out... I don't figure out, but I'm pretty excited for like the weather to cool down and autumn slash fall to come, which is like my favorite season, but it's because my birthday's in September. My birthday's coming up in like a week. By the time this goes up, my birthday might have passed or it literally might be like a day or two before my birthday and this goes up, but my birthday is on September 15th. So I've always been a big like, I love fall, like fall is my season. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I need to package, um, I need to package orders and whatnot right after I eat this toast. And I'll show you guys the orders. I got a lot this week. I already packaged, like, the ones from over the weekend at the beginning of the week, but now I need to package the midweek ones. Today's Friday, so this is all, like, orders from, like, Monday till yesterday and this morning because some orders came in this morning too also thank you guys so much for all your orders like it genuinely helps so much because i literally like live at home and thankfully because my parents are wonderful and they let me stay but i'm trying to like save and move out eventually and like have that kind of freedom because i also am getting older so i'm like guys i need to do something with myself but yeah you guys already know i'm like a recently graduated college student and it's just like I'm needing to save a lot of money and your guys' orders help so much and I really appreciate it in any way, shape, or form. You support me, like I appreciate it so much. Um, but yeah, uh, if you wanna check out my site, of course, everything's always linked in the bio. Don't feel guilt tripped into anything though. I'm just saying, if you want to support me in like a cheap way, all my shit's like affordable. I'm thinking though, okay, rambling again. I'm thinking though of doing some um what's it called doing some clothing but one of one clothing because i have so many like cute tops and stuff that i feel like i don't wear but i can make such cute clothing out of with my designs and stuff and i look cricket so i can definitely like make some cute shit which i'm planning on and that's coming up like the next month or so but i'm not gonna try and spoil everything because i'm still coming up with the new designs and like working on new work and art that will be added to my site later on. Um, I don't know, I'm constantly working on new shit. I'm like constantly drawing and stuff. So there's always like new ideas and stuff coming out. So like all my like past stuff, that's why market like sold out or out of sale. Like you can't get it anymore because I just like, I'm moving onward and I like to like do that. Like I don't like to hold on to the past too much. So especially with my work, cause I'm like, I don't want to feel like I'm clinging to like you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to describe that, but it's just refreshing. Anyway, I made a hat with this yarn last year. I'm thinking of making scarves and then crocheting like cute little like details or designs into them. And I just, I don't know. But even like the plain scarf, it's so, I don't know, it's so neat. Like I really am into that kind of like vibe, like the fur. So I think I'm also going to try and make like a test scarf out of the black one I have and I can show you guys. I don't know if I'll do it in this video, but I, maybe I'll start it and you guys can see. But I'll show you guys like my yarn stuff. Anyway, I'm like literally babbling. I need to do orders and I'll show you guys like all my yarn. Yarn, because now you guys will understand. It's fluffy like this and I have gray too and I want to make scarves out of this. I think it's going to be cute. Like imagine a scarf out of this. Come on. I think that's my goal for like 
winter, like October vibes, but I wanted to show you guys my yarns that I had since like last year. If anyone's left a nice message for me, we have a nice message. I will show you guys the nice message. Thank you very much, Malia. For the nice message. Watch your videos. I find your energy inspiring and I love your art style. Have a loveliest day today. Your heart. It's been a terrible day, but now I feel. Oh, wait, she left another message in another order. What the heck? I didn't. Um, thank you, Malia, for your orders. Also, thank you to Isabella, Eva, Eva. I already packaged the other orders, so <laughs> forgive me. Um, but the ones I'm packaging today, thank you so much. So I'm gonna get these going. I Usually people will order like a bunch of items within one order, so I usually have to like, um, I should just package them all together, so I'll show you guys how I do that. Um, but I've shown you like so much in the videos, you guys probably already know, but each time I change like my packaging style, depending on like how I'm feeling. So this week, I think I'm gonna add some of these free stickers in with some of the orders. Um... These are now so old out on my site, but these are kind of like the ones that I felt like I might reserve for orders because I kind of like to throw like a, something free in, whether that be like stickers or whatnot. All my orders come with extra stickers. So, packaging this print, and I'm going to match the stickies with this good luck one and this iridescent orchid flower. But yeah, this one, let me see what else they ordered with this one. They also ordered a mystery bag. So... Um, to match this one, what do you guys think? The green one or the maybe the purple, huh? Like, this is such a cute vibe. Oh, let me move all the other stuff from the other orders because what the hell am I doing? I think I already said this, but I only slept, um, three hours, so forgive me. So this is all gonna go together. Ready to go. All the little notes and whatnot, and lots of extras. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching my boring segment of packaging. And uh, again, for like the 50th, 100th time, camera's about to die, so I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.